Hey everybody, it's Andrew and a quick update here regarding the new Copilot Plus PCs. A couple of big news items here that I wanted to share with you. Uh, if you haven't heard by now, Microsoft is putting the kibosh on recall. Yes, recall is being recalled. Yes, it's not how ironic, right? So the biggest AI selling feature or whatever you want to call it for these new Windows Copilot PCs that are going to be launched on Tuesday, June 18th. And one of its biggest selling features, in my opinion, has been recalled. That is, of course, a big news here. Now, if we go to the article in Tom's Hardware, you can see here, Microsoft Microsoft recalls recall the controversial AI feature won't be in Copilot Plus Windows build at launch. Apparently, they're coming later as a preview to Windows Insider. So a big about face from Microsoft so far. And of course, I have not had any relationship with Microsoft, so I'm freely to talk about all this. Now, one thing I will say is the initial reports here that they're taking it out is not surprising considering a lot of the backlash regarding security and all that that Microsoft was facing regarding this feature so i'm not too surprised here of what we're seeing here about these copilot plus pcs so one of the most interesting features will not be there on launch so that is a little disappointing in my opinion but i am not surprised now the other big news and i think this might be the biggest news besides the ai features that are not going to be included in copilot pc the recall this is the other big news the snapdragon x elite in the wild here according to tom's hardware has allegedly slower performance than an iPhone 12. First benchmarks of the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge disappoint. And this is a very, very disturbing news here. And I'm not surprised with Samsung because they tend to power limit their devices. And I keep in mind, this is going to be pre-firmware update. Apparently, there's going to be a big firmware update that will address a lot of the issues it might have at launch. I don't know. Again, I'm nothing official here. But apparently, the performance on that Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge is not great. Now, according to the article in Tom's Hardware, running the laptop through its paces on Geekbench and Crystal Disk Mark and the subjective battery and gaming test didn't fare well for the Snapdragon X Elite processor. The computer scored 1829 on single core, 11,379 on multi-core while on battery. Performance barely increased to 1841 in single core and 11,537 multi-core when plugged in. So this is very, very disappointing news. Now, I will say this, if there is a firmware update that the other OEMs are going to implement on release day, which is Tuesday, June 18th, but also keep in mind, Samsung tends to power limit their devices. So we may be seeing a result of that here in this pre-leaked or pre or whatever is running in the wild here, as far as these numbers, maybe it's pre-firmware as well. So. I have no relationship with Samsung, as you know. I don't have a relationship with Microsoft, and I don't have a relationship with Qualcomm. So I'm free to talk about whatever I feel is necessary here prior to the release. Now, I do have a few units coming. Uh, hopefully, I'll get them by the release date, and we will be able to get some real-world testing. My guess is Samsung does power limit their laptops, so maybe we'll see better results on the other laptops. But I got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed here with these numbers. This is not good, folks. So. Uh, whatever you may think about all this stuff that's been coming out with the Snapdragon, all the hype, all the uh, hoopla, uh, we're actually finding out exactly why we didn't actually get some benchmarks prior to release, and I think we're seeing why. But again, this could be just a case where Samsung is doing a very aggressive power limit to get more battery life, to let it run cooler. I don't know, but the bottom line is these are very disappointing numbers so far. But again, I'm optimistic maybe the others, the other brands will be better. HP has their Omnibook X. We know Lenovo has the Yoga Slim 7X running the Snapdragon X Elite. That's the one I'm most looking forward to, that Asus has the Vivo Book S15 coming, and that, of course, looks pretty promising as well. There's a lot to be looking forward to here, but again, the initial reports from the Samsung Galaxy Book for Edge, very disappointing in terms of the numbers. And again, hopefully it will change with the firmware update and we'll see better results from the other brands. But so far, this is very disappointing. And I do have one, by the way, on order. Again, Samsung not sending me anything. I will have it coming. Now, speaking of Lenovo, Lenovo, 
home. This is my Slim 7 that I have from the yoga line here. And I got to tell you, it's still one of my favorite laptops. So if it's anything like this form factor here or along those lines, and we're getting that beautiful display, according to that, we're getting a very bright display. It can reach a peak of 1,000 nits. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this one in with a Snapdragon X Elite with a little bit of upgraded features in terms of the display and so forth. I'm looking forward to see what that can offer. But again, I will have more to say on this on launch day, but the big news to take away from here is no recall. That's been recalled and some very disappointing numbers in the wild on the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. I'll have more to talk about in terms of the release date very soon. So stay tuned. We'll be back soon with all that. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. And don't forget to check out my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.